Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. And this is going to be a reading for Capricorn, any major Capricorn placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as North Node. And we're gonna focus on the energies in and around the Capricorn Collective for the month of January. So let's see what 2022 um, has in store for you, Capricorn. Happy birthday to all of my December Capricorns out there. Um, so let's jump in, guys, and see what kind of a message needs to come through for you. If you have not already, do feel free to hit that subscribe button below to join the channel. And let's jump in, Cappies, and see what kind of a message needs to come through for you for the month of January. We're going to dig into your energies and your person's energies, but let's see what spirit has in store for you for January 2022. What does Capricorn need to be aware of, please? Energies in and around Capricorn, karmic lessons. I think get ready to learn some major karmic lessons in order to resolve some past life experiences. I think you might be dealing with a triggering event. I think you're likely going to be put to the test, Capricorn, when it comes to a certain situation that is needing to be addressed, stemming around some toxic patterns um, with yourself and with your connection with another. So I think this behavior needs to be brought to the surface in order to finally learn a major karmic lesson to close out a major cycle when it comes to correcting some past behaviors. So keep in mind though, Capricorn, this could be a message directly for you or to somebody that you're connected with. So swap around the energies, how they apply. But I think you're gonna be working through a very painful karmic lesson in the month of January in order for you to step into some spiritual growth and some expansion. So you might wanna just disconnect. I think now is the time for you to recognize what's been keeping you stagnant, where you have been neglecting self-care, and which parts of you have been learning for this opportunity for growth in order to work on yourself. I do feel you're going to need to spend some time alone um, in order for you um, to heal and rejuvenate after this karmic lesson has kind of come full circle for you. So we will see what needs to come through with the energy oracles, Capricorn. We'll see what other messages need to come through for you for the month of January. I think growth and expansion, and I think get ready for some heart chakra purging when it comes to a painful lesson, when it comes to this healing journey. We just got a man holding a coin in reverse. So somebody here needs to get grounded. Somebody here needs to find some stability. Oh my God, Capricorn. And then we have a man holding a heart. What is going on for you? All right. There's without a doubt something that you need to walk away from. Maybe you're being presented with a choice between two lovers. We are entering the year of the lovers where we are going to have to make unexpected choices when it comes to our personal relationships. What are you needing to walk away from, Capricorn? Because I do feel there's there's going to be a choice, a crossroad energy, and there is a karmic lesson being learned. Maybe you're connected to two energies. It is feeling like masculine energies. It doesn't have to be, but I feel you've got this man here holding a heart. He hasn't quite given it away yet. And then we got this man holding a coin in reverse. So I feel maybe on the outside, it looks stable. It looks solid. But on the inside, there's really nothing there from this man holding a coin. So you could be dealing with an, another earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I do feel with the man holding a heart, we do have some water energy coming through. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody here has a lot of love to give. And somebody here is pretending to be stable, I think, to keep you stuck in a karmic cycle. So I think maybe you're going to be dealing with a lot of mental anxiety when it comes to a decision in the month of January. And you are encouraged to take back your personal power, to step into self-appreciation, to know your worth, to know your value. I think maybe you've been trying to manifest abundance. That's my empress energy. And I kind of feel in this card, if you look... Everything around her is dead and dying except for that single rose that she's holding in her hand, which is a symbol of romance, love, 
um, an offer coming in, and I do feel healing is around the corner, but there's a need to take some action to gather the strength to move in a new direction. So who's been depleting your energy? Because I kind of feel you've lacked this self-appreciation -appreci and you've been all up in your head worrying about a decision when it comes to walking away from something that's just not meant for you. So I do feel rounding out the closing of a cycle with walking away being a 27 card breaking down to a nine. So I do feel you're going to be presented with a choice here when it comes to this lesson. And I do think it does hurt to make this choice to maybe leave somebody out in the cold. Maybe somebody's been draining you energetically, financially, Capricorn, and you are encouraged to go towards what is true for you on your heart. So we are going to see what needs to come through with the psychic tarot. What else does Capricorn need to be aware of, please? sacral chakra. So there is an unhealthy sexual attachment here that I feel is kind of blocking some creative aspects for you. Um, the sacral chakra is where we house all of our emotional baggage. That's where we, you know, attach to those unhealthy karmic um, energies. And I think there is without a doubt a reset here, a brand new beginning. But there is a need to face some shadow aspects to Go into any fear-based energies coming through, stemming around, taking back your power. I feel a lot of chakra energy coming through. And then we got the crown, the base, and the heart. So I, I kind of feel um, releasing any blockages when it comes to fear with this base chakra, when it comes to a sense of security. And I do feel you've, you've been receiving the messages um, in order to make this decision. I do feel a lot of downloads, activations... And I think, um, once again, the heart is in focus when it comes to the month of January for you. I do think it's time for you to take back authority of your life. And I think get ready to confront some dark, shadowy aspects while you take back your personal power and embrace this leap of faith for a brand new cycle in love is kind of what I'm feeling for you, Capricorn. So um, let's see what some of these influencing energies are with the Quantum Energy Oracle deck. What are these influencing energies when it comes to this message, please, for Cappy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Um, what does Capricorn need to be aware of? So there's that creative endeavor. So what's been blocking you when it comes to some creative aspects? I feel get ready for a major karmic event a major karmic event and there is going to be a loss a decrease here um too so yeah there's without a doubt a major experience coming forward in the month of january in order for you to resolve some past life karma that is needing to be worked through so i think you have been feeling stuck you've been stagnant you've been sitting in this consciousness of lack Maybe you've got your finances in order, but I feel this emptiness within your heart, like something is missing. So get ready for travel. I think maybe you might be moving houses or somebody might be traveling to come and see you. And this is divinely guided action being taken in the month of January because there's about to be a major shift in your own personal conscious awareness is what I'm feeling when it comes to what it is you need to leave behind. Fives are about changes. Because you are stepping into true love, and true love always begins with looking in the mirror at yourself, um, honoring um, your value, your worth. I do feel romance is on your path in the month of January, and it is about a solid foundation, and we build that first from the inside out. So I think get ready to dive deep into some mirror mirroring energy when it comes to this lack when it comes to these dark thoughts that I feel you've been sifting through with that anxiety because the time is now for you to honor your higher calling and to listen to um, the guidance that spirit has been bringing forward. I feel you're likely very much connected to some ascended masters at this time and they really are pushing you to honor your worth and to honor your value. So get out of the headspace because I feel... Without a doubt, um, with all losses do come new beginnings. And whenever we have to walk away from something, it, it allows us to make space 
for something new. Um, so what is it that you're needing to walk away from in order for you to honor self-appreciation is kind of what's coming through, Capricorn. But let's see on what is being evaluated with the wisdom of the Oracle deck. What is Capricorn evaluating when it comes to this karmic lesson, this triggering event? What negative patterns are needing to be corrected and evaluated? So by the book, it's feeling very Knight of Pentacles, like energy planning, um, planning for the future. And you do have what it takes to go the distance. So get ready for a revival a regeneration, a rebirth, a renewal energy coming through. This is a 10, which is the, the closing of a major cycle, a major, major lesson. And I do feel stepping into um, your soul tribe, calling in your true soul family, your true soul tribe. So I think, you know, with this by the book, I always feel this energy of you have to close one door fully before stepping into this new experience. So there is the, the need to release um, a negative karmic attachment, and you do have what it takes to go the distance. So I kind of feel rounding the finish line is what's coming through when it comes to this lesson, when it comes to um, finding your tribe, finding your people. So I think get ready for um, a major turn of events in order for you to close out a major cycle and to come into that union of self, to honor your inner wholeness without any outside attachments. But Let's see um, what's going on with your person, Capricorn. We're going to dig into your person. We'll dig into your energy. And we'll see what other messages need to come through for you for the month of January. What else does Capricorn need to be aware of when it comes to their person? And like I said, the energies can be swapped around. So take the message, how it resonates. I kind of feel you're dealing with somebody who is in this... Um, addictive behavior of self-pity, um, this martyrdom energy. And I kind of feel um, this pretension to all of this spiritual knowledge. And there is a need um, to be aware of any dangers in and around your person, I feel, because I kind of feel you're dealing with somebody, this man holding a coin in, in reverse, that's very superficial when it comes to their pursuits. Maybe somebody here likes to, you know, stay in this very low vibe energy of constantly and chronically complaining, this martyrdom energy. Um, and there is a need for you to transcend that lower vi vibration. So I think you are being alerted to a dangerous person in and around you that really is superficial, that does not act with integrity, and I do feel you have the inner knowledge and you possess the inner knowledge to this energy in order for you to transcend that limitation because I kind of feel your person is in this energy of self-sabotaging. Somebody here you're connected with is, is really in some self-destructive behaviors, Capricorn, and I feel this undermining energy coming through and maybe this has triggered your own fears of self-empowerment. Um, but there is a need to bring changes into your life because I feel somebody here, <laughs> I feel your person has been embracing these negative causes, which in turn has created this toxic commitment for personal gain. And I feel it's time for you to break free, to walk away from that energy in order to find your inspiration, your sense of compassion to take action because somebody here is acting very foolish and I feel this this denial of some emotional truth, what's really on somebody's heart. Maybe this is one energy, somebody really focused on material aspects and not really open to any loving connection at this time. But I think get ready for some revelations when it comes to some repressed hidden emotions with your person. And I feel um, there's a lot of hypocrisy coming up as your person um, goes through a period of deep inner um, purification, redemption, regeneration. And I feel there is without a doubt a very special connection here, Capricorn. And you're going to need to defend yourself against any negative forces because somebody here is dealing with a master manipulator, a trickster, and it's time to kind of transcend that predictable behavior, Capricorn. We'll see what needs to come through on your side. What energies need to come through for Capricorn, please, for the month of January. I do feel you have a lot of spiritual insight to kind of share with the collective. So 
release that sacral chakra blockage, Capricorn, in order for you um, to, you know, embrace spreading your message, sharing your light, expressing these soul insights that you have to bring forward into the collective because I think you're stepping into dedication. We have a lot of Capricorn energy coming through in January, a lot of grounding energy when it comes to transcending these physical limitations on your spiritual journey. So I think you are encouraged to kind of self-develop, to go into some personal willpower and to find your strength of spirit in order to release what's not meant for you because I feel you're kind of sifting through the energies in the month of January. So you're going to have to kind of master um, navigating through these different levels of consciousness as you go through this level of expansion in order to see the potential in everything around you when it comes to this karmic lesson, this opportunity for growth. So get ready for somebody here to project their negative agenda at you in the month of January. And that's going to make you really need to dig a little bit deeper. So um, who's been falsifying information in and around you? Because I think you've got these great powers of observation surrounding you in the month of January, Capricorn. And uh, you're going to need to trust your intuition when it comes to this energy. I feel you've got this deep desire to seek out some truth. And I think spending some time in solitude out in nature is really going to allow you to restore your connection to your spirit guides. Um, so embrace Mother Nature because I feel you're kind of stepping into being a pioneer of New Earth. I feel um, you're releasing any compulsive negative behaviors that really have um, kept you stuck from moving on from a, a certain triggering situation. So... What is going to restore your passion for creativity again, Capricorn? Because it's time for you to do something that you've not done before, to enter a brand new cycle in love. Quit playing that damsel in distress if you've been doing that, because ain't nobody coming to save you on this spiritual journey, Capricorn. There's nobody coming to save you, so release any um, romantic illusions when it comes to somebody maybe you've been holding on to that really doesn't have any value to bring to your life because there's going to be a deep understanding coming through, especially with um, Venus in Capricorn in retrograde um, when it comes to understanding what a healthy romantic relationship is. And I feel you are coming into this newfound inspiration of what it is that you want to bring into your life in order to correct a pattern that's just no longer working for you. So um, let's see what needs to come through with the tarot for your person. What needs to come through for a Capricorn's person? Seven of Pentacles. So there is a need to kind of recognize some stagnancy here. The Seven of Pentacles, to me, is there's a need to kind of move. Wherever your person's been at, it's not fertile. There's no growth. It's kind of stagnant. And there is this lack of closure when it comes to a major karmic cycle. So could be dealing with a fixed sign. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. But there's blocks when it comes to a solid foundation. I think maybe your person is stuck in a false foundation, blocking the truth, refusing to learn a karmic lesson, and there is without a doubt some manipulative behavior here is kind of what I'm feeling. There's this withholding energy when it comes to bringing a sense of balance into a connection, and there is a need um, to recognize what's not working. Somebody here has had the blinders on, not wanting to see the truth, and I feel... They've been juggling. They've been holding back. They've been gripping to control. And there's nothing left here to work on is kind of what I'm feeling. So could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Virgo. But I feel there's been this chronic indecision. And there's about to be a major realignment in order to restore a sense of balance. With the four and the two here, it equals a six. So... Um, maybe your person is going to be experiencing a job loss, but I feel some clarity is coming through when it comes to these blockages, um, when it comes to stop putting in work in a situation that has really depleted somebody. I think get ready 
because your person is cutting through some illusions, extreme disillusionment. I think they're running out of options. It's kind of feeling like somebody here has been backed into a corner in order to resolve this karma, in order to finally learn this karmic lesson. So yeah, without a doubt, some triggering in the energies because somebody's been all trapped up in a false connection here. I think um, what appears good and nice on the outside, there's no happiness here. There's no joy. There's no contentment. This is this is actually a nightmare is what I feel. And although, you know, maybe they're putting on a good show here, pretending like everything's stable, everything's good, I feel there's a lot of dissatisfaction here. And somebody's been trapped up in a situation. I feel struggling with some depression, some dark night of the soul, maybe feeling hopeless. So... Let's get a clarifier here on this magician reversed. Yeah, the world reversed. Um, you know, refusing to learn this karmic lesson, not wanting to go in to um, these, these painful lessons in order to learn something to bring it full circle. So there's been this withholding. I feel there's a need to gain a new perspective. Somebody here... I feel has, you know, been very stuck. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see things for what they are. There is a need for somebody to open up to a new experience in love. We do have the Page of Cups, which is a welcome offer. There is a need for your person to turn their back on a very karmic situation. Could be dealing with a Pisces and Aquarius. Um, but I feel somebody here is about to learn a lesson and maybe getting ready to offer an apology. I think maybe somebody here has been betrayed and there is a masculine getting ready to kind of take that action, to gather the strength, to um, take back control of their life, to rise in their true authority is what's coming through. So get ready for an offer, somebody to open up their, their heart to you, to bring forward some deep emotional truth when it comes to maybe a connection um, crumbling. Let's see what needs to come through for you, Capricorn. Yeah, there's without a doubt been an imbalance. Things have not been right. Things have not been just and fair. And there's going to be um, some karmic repercussions for that is what I'm feeling. So we do get the justice reversed, Capricorn, with the two of wands. So you are at that crossroads. I called it when it comes to a soulmate union. So... I think get ready for some communication to come through if there's not been any communication because the pathway has been illuminated when it comes to a brand new beginning and there's not been justice served yet when it comes to a soulmate connection where two people see eye to eye and feeling strong Pisces energy coming through could be dealing with a Libra, but I think you're guarded. Your walls are up and you're going to need to shift your perceptions too. So some mirroring energy going on here, Capricorn. Um, Pisces energy coming through very strong and I kind of feel your walls are up. I think you're ready for a battle. I think you're not ready to kind of let somebody in with this communication because maybe in the past you did put a lot of work into something and um, it was unrequited. Maybe it was not reciprocated in the past. And I feel somebody wants to come forward and maybe face that karmic judgment. I think the time is now to make that judgment call. I feel maybe there was some harsh words spoken. I don't think there's been a lot of communication. And I feel there is a lot of mental struggle when it comes to taking that first step in this new direction. But let's see um, what this justice reversed is about. Yeah, there's been manipulation, somebody wanting to win at all costs, and I feel there is without a doubt a karmic rebalancing in the energy with that five of swords. So maybe somebody was deceiving themselves when it comes to a foundation that they were trying to, you know, make look good um, for social media or for the public. And I feel there's been like this false foundation crumbling behind the scenes for quite some time. And there is going to be some massive changes. Fives are all a bit changes. Five of pentacles, strength reverse. Somebody's really been all up in their ego, not wanting to admit just how unhappy they were, um, maybe holding on for financial stability. There's without a doubt going to be an unexpected choice in love. Somebody here is walking away from a connection that is just no longer working, maybe walking away from a family situation and they've lacked that strength, that courage, that fortitude to take back their power, 
for this new beginning. So there is an unexpected choice in love coming. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Gemini. But I kind of feel, yeah, in the past, there was somebody that didn't value you. And I also feel somebody here is dealing with this Empress in reverse who likely is unfaithful, doesn't know her worth, doesn't know her value, controlling, manipulative, and the time is now for somebody to move homes is what I'm feeling with that Seven of Pentacles reversed. Time is up. So let's see um, what other messages need to come through with the tea leaf deck. I do see um, Libra, Taurus, Virgo energy coming through. I think it's time for you to um, reclaim your position of authority. Somebody here needs to reclaim their position of authority and to kind of ascend on their rightful throne. I think um, maybe there's going to be some harsh truth spoken as somebody breaks free from a committed partnership that's just no longer working um, because the time is now for the birth of this new life. Perhaps um, the birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. And I do feel... Somebody here is getting the boot when it comes to a false connection. You very well could be dealing with an older man um, when it comes to this message. And I kind of feel there's there's going to be a need to be shrewd. Um, I kind of feel somebody's dealing with some foxes, some manipulative people here. And there is going to be some issues that are needing to be addressed. And I do feel these these problems are going to be temporary because it's time to get out of a toxic situation. It's time to learn this lesson. So know that things will not always be this way. I do feel profound life change is coming. And you will have that close-up opportunity with somebody that is going to be loyal. So get ready for an exciting event. Because there's a lot of illumination coming through when it comes to this false connection. So what else does Capricorn need to be aware of? For the month of January, please. Clock. Uh, maybe there was a need to kind of heal in solitude separately because, you know, healing does take time. There is, without a doubt, a cycle coming to a close because the time is now to bring healing and progression into a soulmate connection. So I do feel there's been a lot of self-sabotaging and there is going to be the opportunity to rebuild from ground zero. So... Maybe somebody fears coming forward with communication because they know this Queen of Swords is going to interrogate them um, and, and want that truth. So I think somebody's going to be persistent and they are going to do the work to build upon a union where two people do see eye to eye. So I kind of feel maybe you've been in separation from your person, Capricorn. And I do think somebody's been missing you and thinking about you and yearning for you. And there's been a lot of unsurety about the future when it comes to some financial stability. But I feel there's a lot of clarity and truth coming forward in the month of January when it comes to this newfound revelation, this karmic lesson. And I feel this brute force um, kind of coming in um, in order for somebody to take back their personal power. I do feel... A lot of divine protection around a soulmate union and you're going to need to welcome in this love. You're going to need to walk away from something toxic and open up your heart because I think you're kind of coming into meeting the one, reuniting with the one. So get ready for somebody to reach out. I think now is the perfect time to maybe get together and to have that heart to heart conversation um, in order to start enjoying each other again. So We'll close off the reading with a couple crystal stone deck messages. What else does Capricorn need to be aware of when it comes to the energies for January? I think, um, yeah, it's time to get out of this situation to go through a, a moment of reprieve in order to kind of reconnect um, with your higher self. I do feel there's been children involved in this situation, which likely have create has created... A lot of indecision, but somebody here is needing to take care of their heart to go into all of these fields with rose quartz. Um, I feel it's really time to do the hard work in order to restore a sense of balance in this one-on-one -on -one connection. So there is a lot of spiritual healing going to be taking place in the month of, of January because it is about the heart. It is about getting together, and I think somebody here just wants to wrap their arms around you and be and be held. So 
I think something is about to be uncovered when it comes to a very toxic situation. We do have the meteorite energy, so I'm hearing Superman. So uh, I, I do feel children, without a doubt, have, have been involved in this karmic situation. And I do feel this distance between you and another person. And there's a lot of spiritual energy swirling around the energies in January. And there is a need to have that chat to have that conversation in order to come back into alignment. So um, somebody here without a doubt is ascending on their rightful throne. That energy come out twice. So um, what thoughts are you needing to get rid of when it comes to that anxiety, that stress, um, sleepless nights? Because your thoughts are not your friends if you're looping round and round in some negative behaviors. I do feel could, could very well be dealing with a Leo, but there is a deep past life connection here. And there is some karmic resolution that is needing to take place. So get ready for somebody to perhaps even come back on bended knee to offer that higher level of commitment because the emperor is a boss, a leader, a visionary, a father figure, and he does what's right. He is a protector. So I kind of feel with Obsidian and Laramar coming through as well as Astrophilite, there is a need to unlock your highest potential. There's been a creative block and there is a need to maybe slow down in order to protect your energies in the month of, of January because it's this newborn energy I feel coming through. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but it really is time to look at and to cut out some negative people, some negative patterns out of your life and to conceal yourself against this negativity because I feel you're about to be throttled backwards and catapulted forward very, very quickly. So... Um, somebody here is without a doubt making a choice, releasing some burdens that are no longer meant for them to be carried. And I feel major problems uh, are going to arise, which will likely trigger a lot of anger and reactive energy because there's, there's this underlying agitation. When it comes to this energy, this seething, sweltering um, frustration is what I'm feeling in my gut. Um, when it comes to somebody breaking free um, from a very slow moving progression is kind of what I'm feeling. So I do feel um, the formation of a new foundation is coming forward in the month of January for you, Capricorn. Um, and I think somebody maybe is getting ready to give themselves per permission to go in a new direction because it's time to step up. It's time to step outside of yourself. Could be dealing with an Aries masculine energy but I feel somebody stepping into their own superhero purpose of taking back control of their life and um, doing whatever it takes um, to fight for this connection and to unlock their highest potential. And that's kind of what I got for you, Capricorn, for the month of January. I hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.